back again with your daily dose of Excel VBA, some skills for you to pick up, no frills, always getting to the point. Now, previous videos I've gone over how to use the relational operators and the logical, and now you're ready to use the if statement. The reason that I ask you to do those first is because I need you to understand how they behave. After that, we add on upon that knowledge and we can get to using if statements. So let's take a look. Now, for example, let's say I want to check a particular value and if it falls within the condition that I want it to fall in. So let's say you have an Excel sheet, you have a couple of cells, and you you want to check if a particular cell has a particular value. Uh, so simple example, let's say we have dim test grade as integer and you want to check if the actual test grade has the value of, and, and I'm not going to go into getting the value from the cell, you can go back to my other video on how to use cells as input, but we will go into that, we will go into it, I promise. I just want to get you on a simple example first and then we can go a little bit more further on the um, most difficult ones. Now let's say I set test grade equal to 80 and I want to check if test grade is 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 greater than a, uh, a max value. How would I do that? How would I do that? Well that's where the if statement comes in. And the if syntax is, is a little strange with VBA, but once you get used to it, you'll be fine. Now, if I want to check if test grade is greater than, say, 70, it's simple. All I have to do is we start on an if, we say if test grade is greater than 70, then, and then you close it with an end if. Now, look at the syntax. I need you to pay attention because that, unless you know the syntax, it's not going to work when you try and do your own if statements. So if test grade is greater than 70, then we want to do something in the body. So let's just say we want to just print something out. So we say debug.print test grade is over 70. I'll erase this. So in this particular example, I'm not getting values from anywhere. I'm not getting values from the cells. I'm just setting my value here, just as an example. And we want to test this value of this variable. If it is greater than 70, then we want to print this out. Now, what if what if it's not? What if what if this condition will give you a false? Well, one of the things that I want to tell you is that with an if statement the only time that you're gonna actually execute the body is when this statement is true so it's it's similar to saying if this is true then do the body if this is true then do the body if it's not true then you're not gonna you're gonna ignore everything here so this is called a one-way if one way of statement which means that you're just going to have one path, you're going to check the value, if it's not then you just continue to the rest of the code. So I've had some, uh, something over here where I would say, you know, debug.print, we're almost done, okay. Then what's going to happen is, let's say that test grade was not great, so we're going to make this a 50. If I make that a 50, then this condition is false because it's going to it's going to say if test grade is greater than 70, which is going to give you false. If it's false, then it's not going to go into this debug print statement, but it will skip out of here and continue down to the next lines of code. So if I do that, it's going to say we're almost done. See that? Now, if I change the value back to 80, then you're gonna you're gonna actually have this print out because 80 is greater than 70, which makes this statement true, and that means that 
it will go into this body. So if I do that, test grade is over 70. We're almost done. Keep in mind as well that you have a, a you can have multiple statements within the body of an if. If I wanted to put some more logic within here, I can do that. I can put in more statements. It could be anything. It could be another if statement. It could be an assignment statement. I can add things. I can print things out. Okay. So I'm going to show you now how do we get values from cells and then see how we can do that. So let's take a look at the Excel. And what we're going to do is we were, we're going to do, we're going to put some values here. So five, four, and two. Actually, let's do, let's do 80, 70, and 50. Okay, so we do 80, 70, 50, and we're going to, and we want to get these values in our VBA script, right? Our VBA macro. Okay. And if we want to do that, we want to do that. Let me let's go do over here. Okay, we're gonna save. Actually, have to save this. Uh, I'll just save it in downloads. Test. If click save, that's okay. All right. So let's go back. Okay, so now we're going to stop with this sending assignment stuff. We're going to get we're going to get down to the real business, right? This is what you're here for. We we want to get data from an Excel sheet. And again, we're getting the data cell by cell. Have patience, we're eventually going to have to loop through these where you don't you would loop through a whole Excel sheet and then have it do the work. So let's take a look. I'm going to declare, I'm going to change my, my variable from test grade to cell value um, using that as an integer. And then what I'm going to do is if you don't, if you don't not familiar with this, please look at my video on cells as input to remind you how to get the values from a cell. This is a row and this is a column. If I go back to my spreadsheet, I'm at row one, column one. This is row two, column one, row three, column one. This is row one, column two, and so on. Now, if I run this, right, I've gotten the value from my cell, from my spreadsheet, which is gonna be 80, and then it's gonna say, if 80 is greater than 70, then print this out and then continue. So let's do that, and there you go, right? Now, what if I want the value at row two? At row two, well, that that's something to think about, right? Easy for me, a little bit harder for you, but we're gonna learn. So, as I said, row column. So, what row am I in? I'm in row two. What column am I in? One. If I do that, then I'm gonna say that this is row two, and in me doing that. 70 if is 70 greater than 70 what do you think this is going to print out do you think it's going to print out that it's over 70 well remember if you don't know how relational operators work look at my relational operator remember this is not inclusive because it's not greater than or equal to so this is not going to print out so let's try that let's try running this and it's not going to print out and then we want the value at three and obviously that's not going to print out either. So if I change this to three and I run this, print that out. Not going to print out because that statement is false. So there you go. That's the if statement. Next, next video, I'm going to go over if else, if else, if, and so on. Stay tuned. You're starting to get close to writing real macros and eventually we're going to get to looping and then you're going to write some complicated, complex stuff. If you like my video, please click on like, subscribe to my channel, check out my website, parttimeadjunct.gmail, I mean parttimeadjunct.com. If you have a, a comment, you have some help, 
www.parttime, I mean, uh, email me at parttimeadjunct at gmail.com. Check out my Udemy course. Thanks.